Retro Maniacs, what's happening? Retro Collectibles here. So if you look back in my videos about a month or two ago, you remember I picked up this from my friend. He got it for 10 bucks. It's a Mego General Lee, but it's missing the obvious roof hatch that a lot of them are missing. And it was missing the number on the side, but I said, wow, the chrome wheels are beautiful shape. The uh, bumpers are beautiful shape. I'm going to take that, see if I could get a hatch for it, and maybe a decal kit, and I'll restore it. It's got a crack there, but I can glue it, whatever, right? Uh, a lot of my friends thought I was crazy because that roof hatch is not easy to get. Um, but I'm the type of guy that I'll hunt for two years for a roof hatch or a cheap parts car before I'll spend a hundred bucks on one of these. Didn't take a year. The other day I found one. I'll show you. Crazy deal about this one. It comes with the roof hatch. I paid 20 bucks for it. Um, now they're both the 1980 release. If you notice, they both have the different wheels. This one has fatter wheels and rims. And this one has the skinnier ones. Going to be a hard decision which ones to use. But everything works perfect. These bumpers are a little bit beat up. I'm going to swap them with the good ones here. And even the numbers, so I want, I bought a decal, a decal restoration kit, but they're not the stickers like these, so they look a bit different. The flag I'm going to replace, but even the stickers, like that General Lee one, that uh, doesn't look the greatest. Look at this one, the one that's on the parts car right here, perfect. This number one here is going to go over here where it's missing one and then I just got to pick out what wheels I want so the only thing that won't be original will be the flag I'll show a little video of it when I'm done but yeah just for the people that are skeptical about getting cheap stuff or whatever I literally made a video said I was planning to get a cheap one because I see these every couple months for 25 30 bucks uh, they might be missing a roof hatch or they might be near perfect condition or they might just need new decals. Um, yeah, but if you watch my earlier video, it's uh, going to be showing this crazy find. I got this Mego General Lee and uh, the Daisy Duke Jeep. The Daisy Duke Jeep is in such good shape, I don't need to do anything to it. Like the stickers on it are all perfect. But I got them both for $40, so 20 bucks each. So by the end of this, I will have a very good condition Mego General Lee. And uh, I'm going to hunt down some cheap loose figures for it. The Mego Bowen Luke. I see those cheap once in a while too. So anyway guys, and collecting patience is a key. Be patient, don't pull the trigger too quick. Uh, spend time, put work in. I see this stuff all the time on Kijiji and Marketplace. In fact, this guy here was listed for 25 days and nobody took it. All I did was type in General Lee and it came up. So, put the work in guys. The deals are out there, I promise you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please, as usual, uh, like, subscribe, and share. And as always, happy hunting, guys. Hey, hold up. We weren't done yet. Hold up. Stop. Don't end the video. I wasn't done yet. Dum Dum almost ended the video without telling you about the deal of the week or doing the special thank you shout out. Man, what a rookie. Anyway, as you guys knew from my earlier Mego restoration video, I had picked up this junker. It didn't have a roof hatch, but it had a bunch of good parts, uh, good original stickers still. So I said, I'm going to find another car and make a mint one out of two of them. I was lucky. I'm always telling you guys to look on Kijiji, look on Kijiji, look on Marketplace. 
ended up finding this guy and the Daisy Duke Jeep. The Jeep, nothing needs to be done. Uh, both of them for $40, so $20 a piece. Uh, the first part of this video, I showed you my plan on restoring it. I actually was able to get the good sticker off of the donor car for the roof. One of them was bad. And I was able to get one of the good stickers for the side that this one needed. So it's got stickers now. The only, the, the only one that's not going to be original is going to be the flag on top. I've got a restoration kit coming. Uh, so the flag will not be original, but all the other decals will be. Just have to figure out what wheels to go with. And my friend Percy, if you look at the thumbnail picture for this video, he got me a sealed case of these protectors. They fit awesome. They fit the main lines awesome. Like, as you can see, they don't got to be, like, worked in for an hour or anything. Just really nice. 36 of them in a sealed pack for $10. Wow. So between the Migos and those, that's, like, my combined deal of the week. And also, a special thank you goes out to William. William grabbed me this. I wanted one bad. And he ended up giving it to me as a gift. So everybody that knows me knows that uh, I will be hooking William up for hooking me up. Thank you for the gift, William. I love it, buddy. A lot of other people loved it too in the short that I put up, as you can see. Like 1,700 overnight loved it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, uh, just another video to show you, don't give up treasure hunting on Kijiji and Marketplace. Do not start on eBay. Check, 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 check. Sometimes it might take a year or two, but do not pay the overinflated price. Search, search, search. You'll get it. This isn't a fluke. I got my Kenner Talking kit car for $20. Now this for $20. This isn't an accident. You just, you got to put the work in. I guarantee you, you'll find what you're looking for. It just takes time. Uh, please subscribe, like, and share. And as always, happy hunting.